Are you noticing that as you get older, your bladder isn't as strong as it used to be? You might be experiencing a constant urge to go pee, or you might be finding that you're experiencing urine leakage. Whatever the case, I'm Eric and I'm a mental health physiotherapist specializing in helping you to overcome all of your mental health issues. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you three steps to fix your weak bladder. Let's go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to have a close look at the amount of caffeine that you're consuming every day. Now, before all of you make your way to the comment section to tell me off, let me be clear. I am not telling you to stop drinking coffee or energy drinks if you rely on them for a bit of an energy boost. Hear me out for a second. Caffeine is known as a diuretic, which means that it causes your body to increase its production of urine, filling up your bladder quickly. And on top of this, caffeine also activates sensors in your body, telling your brain that you need to urinate more frequently, even when your bladder isn't truly full. Now, as you can probably imagine, after years and years of excess urine production and the creation of constant urges to urinate, well, your bladder has developed some really bad habits surrounding the amount of toilet breaks you make during the day. I mean, it makes sense when you consider the amount of caffeine people consume these days. Everywhere you look, people are drinking coffee, sometimes as many as three to five cups a day. People also drink energy drinks, and then during meals, they'll have a soft drink and soda, which are also full of caffeine. And then on top of it, some might even enjoy making a nice cup of hot tea at night to relax, you know, before going to bed. And yes, you guessed it, most of these teas have caffeine in them. Now, what's the point of all this? Well, I'm pointing the finger to caffeine when it comes to finding the root cause of your weak bladder. Now, my recommendation is that you drink one caffeinated coffee per day to get your energy boost in the morning, and then you're gonna switch to decaffeinated coffee for the rest of the day. What you'll find is that you actually enjoy the taste of the coffee, and you've just become used to the act of drinking it rather than actually needing it as a stimulant during the day. Now, if you do not drink coffee as a means of energy, I recommend you either stop drinking it altogether or just switch to decaf. Trust me, your bladder's gonna thank you. Moving on to step number two, which is rushing the process of going to the toilet. Look, we all do this. When you go to the toilet to do a number two, it's viewed as you time. You sit down, you probably play on your phone, and you get to enjoy five to 10 minutes of relaxation. However, when you have to urinate, you go into the toilet and you try to leave as quickly as possible. And when you rush this process, you don't fully empty your bladder and you leave urine stuck in the urethra or pee tube. Now this extra urine left over that you missed starts signaling the sensors in your body, telling your brain that you need to go pee again shortly after leaving the toilet, which is not good. Now after months and even years of doing this, you can develop what's called incomplete bladder emptying and bladder retention. And on top of this, by leaving excess urine in the bladder, that means that it has less space to fill up, meaning that you'll actually need to pee again shortly. Okay, so how do you fix all this? Well, you need to slow down and you need to take your time. Seriously, is an extra 30 seconds gonna be the end of the world for you? No, it's not. Now this next part is gonna sound a bit controversial for all the guys listening, but before we get into that, I make videos on all the things that men experience in life, helping you to overcome all of your men's health issues. So please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below to join our community and also click the notification bell. Thank you, I really appreciate your support. All right, now back to the controversial topic. Next time you're at home and you need to urinate, I want you to try sitting down on the toilet to pee. This way, your bladder and your pelvic floor muscles, they can relax and you can make sure that you fully empty all the urine out before you stand up to leave. Now, when you think you've finished urinating, I want you to take two deep breaths, just sink into the seat and relax. Now, after the second deep breath, you're gonna try to start the stream again and urinate any excess urine from the line. Sometimes it also helps to stand up and then sit right back down to kickstart that flow of urine again, as this is called double voiding. Only then can you be sure that you've completely emptied your bladder. So give this a try, trust me it works, and it will help you with your weak bladder. The third thing and final step you need to take to fix a weak bladder is to learn how to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. Now, for those that don't know, these are the muscles that support your bladder and act as a hammock holding everything up. The stronger you can make these muscles, the faster you'll be able to empty your bladder and ensure that you don't have any excess urine hanging around in the urethra and in the bladder. Now, as we get older, our pelvic floor muscles start to get weaker naturally. And this is why you're probably noticing that you can't hold your bladder like you could when you were a teenager. But this is a relatively easy fix if you learn how to perform a Kegels contraction to strengthen up the pelvic floor muscles and complete these exercises every day 
you are gonna see some great results. Now, if you're experiencing any urine leakage as a result of a weak bladder, I've also included an Amazon link in the description of this video where you can look at purchasing some male continence pads or continence underwear until you strengthen up your pelvic floor muscles and the issue resolves. Now, I've made an entire video teaching you how to strengthen your pelvic floor through Kegel exercises, and you can watch it right here. And remember, regardless of your situation, keep going, and I'll see you in the next video.